Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the smoothed rate of change indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, Today, we will be testing the smoothed rate of change indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So, to date, we have tested 277 indicators. And out of those 277 indicators, 109 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 109 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So the smoothed rate of change indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. Uh, back when we were testing the built-in indicators, the trading view built-in indicators, we tested the uh, built-in uh, rate of change. Uh, that uh, was similar to this as far as just a oscillating, a, a one oscillating line and it pivoting around the zero. Um, this one, as the name implies, is a smoothed rate of change and is relatively different than the uh, than the standard. I'm not sure if this one has the uh, the same uh, it's not it's not the same exact setting so the settings are slightly different uh, but the fact that it is smooth uh, really changes it quite a bit and so uh, basically what we are looking for is a cross of the zero line when it crosses up above and goes to this light blue then we will go long when it crosses down below and it goes to this dark blue we will be going short. So pretty simple setup. That's basically how we will be testing it today. So let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this indicator. All right, so we pick up our first 
across to the upside right there on that one and pretty quickly it starts pulling back and would have stopped us out I don't remember off the top of my head if the other uh, standard built-in rate of change made it to the 60% criteria. I don't think it did. Whenever I dig back into dig, digging back into the memory, I don't think it did make it into the uh, the winning list. Again, I could be wrong. All right, so we pick up a short right there, and before it can really move anywhere, it is canceled out by this long that takes place right there. And almost same deal, before it can really move, it's canceled out by a short right there, which is then canceled out by a long right there on that one, which is still working, I believe. I don't think it has been stopped out yet. Nope, it was not stopped out yet. So let's go ahead and play it forward. And we get the first winning signal right there. So finally got a win out of this. Now, we can see that already it does not do a great job in a consolidating market. And this uh, often is the case when you have a single oscillating line that is pivoting around the uh, zero, uh, the zero marker or a, a single point, I guess I should say. It's not always a zero. Sometimes it's 50 or, you know, what have you. But if it's a single line that it is pivoting around with a single oscillating line, then often we get this uh, type of action here where it really starts to just range and <clears throat> excuse me uh, when it starts to range I guess I should say then it's um, it really gets whipsawed in and out let's see short signal there that one worked out for us so when the market's moving, it seems to be doing all right. When the market heads into a consolidation, it definitely starts to run into some issues. Now, one thing that uh, you could be mindful of using this indicator, even if it doesn't work as, a, as an entry, or even if it doesn't meet the 60% criteria 187 so that one got us there is you see here how it uh, creates a really decent divergence as we see this price action coming down really hard right here you can see that it slowly starts to climb its way back up as the price action is making lower lows it's actually making I guess you could call it uh, higher lows if you want to call it that but uh, it's definitely definitely a decent decent level of divergence taking place there and same thing here you see how price action is moving up even though it's not really strong movement you can see here that the rate of change really is not not making any real movement up it's slowly declining down and down uh so that actually there puts us in to the end of the year and so that right there is what we're looking at as far as the signals and so obviously we have one two three four five six and seven trades all together and we only have one two three winning trades so that's not going to meet the 60 percent criteria again i i don't think the other one did either and so um as far as a you know actual functioning piece of the system it's not really going to do uh what we need it to do 
but it could definitely be an extra filter or an extra com confirmation beyond maybe you know one or two other ones that we have uh, basically looking for weakness in momentum uh, might work really well so uh, but for now it's going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already like this video share this video comment below and subscribe to the channel also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video so that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing also there is a link down below to join our discord server which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.